Hi guys, it's GT here and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to buy yourself a house in Riften. First of all, where is it? Now once you get yourself into Riften guys, all the way in the south end, you will find yourself at Mistvale Keep. Now just to show you exactly where that is on the map guys, so you can see, it's once you come into the town, here's the marketplace and just down here is Mistvale Keep. You're going to want to go ahead and go up these steps and go into the doors. So, once you are inside, you're going to need to go and speak to this guy over here who is on the left side of need the yarl. So, if we go over here, guys, and just speak to the guy on the smaller chair, Hemming Blackbriar. Divine smile on you, friend. You are then given the option to purchase a house in the city for 8,000 gold. Now, that is a point to make, guys. It is going to set you back 8,000 gold, which is quite a lot. However, when you do see the house, guys, you will understand why it is that much. It is considerably bigger than the one in Whiterun, and you have things like a back door and a cellar. So, we're going to go ahead and purchase our house. house. Available right now. Wonderful. Here's the key to your new home. Okay, so you are given the key to Honeyside, which is the name of your home. And um, you're also given a decorating guide. If we head back out into Riften, I'll show you exactly where to go to get there. Now, your map is automatically updated, so it does show an arrow on your map as to where exactly you need to go to get to your house. Uh, one point also to make, guys, is if you do wish to decorate this house like I did with my house in Whiterun, um, you just simply go back to the same guy, and then you have to pay for each thing that you want decorating. It's dead simple, but just so you know what happens. Okay, so now we are inside. If we go into our first person view, you can see that first of all, it looks a bit different. Um, here, this is our back door, guys, which has kind of like a, a lake view balcony. And then a bed, and if you go downstairs, you have a cellar. And like I said, it is considerably more spacious than the one in Whiterun, as you can see here. Just having a quick look around, just so you can get a bit of an idea. I would recommend going and paying to have part of it decorated, guys, just so you have more accessibility within the property. However, just taking a quick look around, it is pretty good. Now, hopefully this guide helped you guys. If it did, please like, comment and subscribe. And stay tuned for the more content that will be coming in the next few days. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon.